Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be doing another object competition video and we've got a little uh, special theme um, for today but before we get into today's one guys we need to go over the results of the previous two competitions so going all the way back to two weeks ago the Sulphur Gas Dwarf competition we had a tiebreaker for it so it took a little longer to um, get the results for this one but yeah Mr. Missalot eventually took it in the end by one vote he won it from uh, he was eight votes to seven votes it was very very close so yeah massive well done to him for uh, getting the victory there yeah very very close um against them era xd there so yeah congrats to both of them though for making it um that far into the competition again a massive thank you to everyone who participated um as well but yeah that was um all of episode nine's one so now moving on to last week which is um episode 10 was um the epsilon and erdani competition and there was a little confusion with the lettering on this one because um i basically made a big oopsie with the letters so we are going to be rerunning this in the future. But yeah, for last week's one, we obviously we can't deny, um, we can't just cancel the whole thing out. So yeah, someone still had to uh, get the victory. So Core took the victory with their ice giant object here. So um, massive well done for them for uh, getting that. And yeah, they took, they won the vote by quite a good margin um, there. But yeah, we will be res we revisiting Epsilon in the future. So stay tuned um, yeah, for that. But yeah, now moving on to today's competition, guys. Okay guys, we're in a fresh simulation now, and as you've already seen by the title, we are doing a Christmas-themed object competition today. So, without further ado, we're just going to get straight into the objects. So yeah, these two here actually, don't mind them, they're just, um, they're from a few years ago actually, some of you guys made for one of my custom systems. But yeah, we're getting on to the actual objects, so if we just search up competition, we got nine submissions today, I believe it was. So yeah, massive thank you to everyone who... Um, has taken part in this right so let's see what you guys have prepared for us so the first object of the day astronomy geeks christmas brown dwarf right let's place this in here it is here right hello there right it looks like it may need some warming up so we may have to click the play button um, to get this guy warmed up or we can do it manually can we put it to around a thousand degrees to warm up so i'm guessing it's going to look something like this because it is a brown dwarf so it would be able to get some heat going um actually yeah we, we will do that we'll just quickly remove those so let's see how hot this thing is actually supposed to go so it's got 43 masses. Does it get any temperature? Looks like it's... Okay, so it looks like it's going to sit around 500. So you can see yeah, it's got a bit of an orange glow to it. So I'm guessing that's how it's intended to be viewed. So we'll go ahead and pause it again. Just get it um, quickly uh, lined up there. So yeah, there is Astronomy Geek's Christmas uh, Brown Dwarf. Quite a cool concept, actually, making a Brown Dwarf um, with a Christmas theme. So yeah, very nice idea there. So there it is. And obviously got the orange glow on it for added effect. Very nice indeed. Nice mix of red, white, and green there. Awesome stuff. So there is their object. Right, next up we have got Siren's Christmas Earth. So let's go ahead and uh, place this in here. So I'll see an Earth. It's a lot smaller. All the way down here. Okay, right. Oh, I see some interesting colours. Right, so let's actually have a look underneath the atmosphere. And I did see some city lights. Oh, look at that. Oh, yes. So if we go um, blah, blah, blah. appearance, what am I doing? Going all over the place. Atmosphere. So that's what it looks like underneath. So we can see got some very uh, fancy red on the uh, consonants down there we've got insane green city lights on it like, those lights look awesome and obviously clouds got normal white clouds for the christmasy and then the white atmosphere because obviously christmas is going to be a lot of snow around so the whole planet's got christmasy snowy clouds um on it there so looking good and obviously yeah the very nice city lights on it there so there is the christmas earth from siren so uh, very nice job on there right moving on we have got cause object next so let's go ahead and place this in it looks to be a gas dwarf as well awesome stuff so here it is let's place that in and we've got a very very nice mix of red and green here looking awesome yeah very bright vibrant colors there christmas gas looking good so there we go there awesome stuff very very nice indeed and really like the colors uh, picked for it so moving on next up we have got the munix one marine terror so they did ask me to do a fresh simulation for this as well, because apparently the, if I kept using the same simulation, it messed it up. So yeah, this is a fresh simulation I made about a minute before clicking the start button for this recording. So yeah, here we are. Here is his Christmas object. And this thing looks crazy. Wow, we. Okay, so let's have a look underneath first. So underneath, we can see it looks to have some sort of reflection. So it looks like it may have been modded somewhere. To have, so it's a lot more reflective. It's got red oceans, green land. Obviously, very reflective white. Obviously, got some white patches on the land as well. So, a lot of snow. Obviously, green trees covering up most of the surface. We've also got red city lights on it um, mixed in there with the red oceans as well. Very nice stuff. And obviously, onto the clouds, we've got yellowy, sort of snowy looking clouds. And then atmosphere, we have got a uh, sort of light, yeah, nice light glowing green on it. So, that is a very nice rocky planet indeed there. Look at that. Awesome stuff. Let's check its stats. Uh, 95 and then 0 0.1 on it. 
the life cycle. Let's see what Sarin's is. I'm guessing it's an Earth, so it'll be high, yeah, won't it? Um, but yeah, there we go. So there is their object there. Very nice indeed from Demonic there. Right, next up we've got Error XD. So they have also made a Gas Dwarf. Or a lot of people are going back to the Gas Dwarf trend. Very nice indeed. So here is Christmas Gas. So as we can see, red atmosphere. I'm guessing that's a green cloud layer underneath. Oh, yes. Look at that. And then underneath the cloud, we have got a surface. Awesome. So there it is on the surface. Looks very, very cold and frozen up on that surface as well. Awesome stuff indeed there. And obviously, they have the red with the green. Look at that. That's pretty cool. So yeah, there's um, Error XD's one. Right, moving on. We have got Giga Man's Christmas Planets. Let's go ahead and place this in. Oh, yes. Look at this. Oh, wow, we look at that. Whoa, right. Look at that. So Christmas, also we've got a lot of uh, snow on the front area here. So let's have a little look underneath. So like we normally do. Oh, it's very, very bright. Look at that. Wow. Okay, so I'm guessing if we rotate it around it. Ah, okay. So the white, the glowing white area. So that's like super reflective snow on this planet. At nighttime, it goes to a more yellowy sort of color. And you can see these bright green glowing areas as well. It is green water, as we can see, liquid water, green. That is crazy, and obviously the green turns to like a bright yellow in the daytime. That is a very, very nicely made world. Awesome stuff. This, I reckon this vote, the votes for this competition are going to be a challenging one. I'm very interested to see the results of this already, and we haven't even got through all the objects yet. So yeah, there is Gigaman's one. So we've got some very interesting rocky planets so far as well. Wow. Right, moving on. We have got Speedy. I believe it's their first ever competition, so welcome to the party. So let's uh, see what they have prepared for us. Hello there. Right. So we've got a nice red and white mix on this object here. So very Christmassy colours there. It appears to have a, I want to say, a, a light sort of greenish atmosphere. It's quite hard to see with our Christmassy background I've put on the simulation. But yeah, there it is there. Uh, if we look, um, we'll, go on, we'll go on um, flashlights to have a look, look around. A view. And we'll go to flashlights. There's a full look around. So yeah, it's all frozen up with a nice red surface on it. So very nice indeed. Uh, oh, no, no, no. We want directional, don't we? There we go. Looking good. So yeah, there is their world. So that was Speedy for sending that in there. Awesome stuff. Right, next up we got Stuck in 2D or Tispole. I think he changed his name. So yeah, here is his world. So let's go ahead and place that in here. Okay, so this is... Um Oh, no, I can't see the full name. Okay, but yeah, here it is. So, yeah, there, there's its name there, actually. Okay, awesome. So, here it is. It's just an all-frozen world. We can see it's got normal oceans on it. It's so a very frozen-up world. Oh, and we've also got some city lights. Some nice light blue city lights on it as well. Hey, there you go. Look at that. Awesome. Looking good. Now, I believe a lot of the guys who sent um, their objects in, they also left a little description. So, when we go over through them all again, we will go and do the uh, description. So, don't worry about that. All right. And then the last world, we've got Tuppy. I also believe this is their first competition as well. So, welcome to the party for them as well. So, here is their Christmas uh, gas giant here. So, here we go. So, it starts off with blue and white at the top. It fades to a, a purpley shade there, a violet shade. Then it goes to greens. And then reds in the south. So there we go. There is um, their gas giant world. So yeah, overall, this is a very nice list. Every object's unique in its own way. I mean, look at that. That is cool. Awesome stuff indeed. But yeah, now going over them once more. So let's go on to the Discord quickly. Because yeah, a lot of people left little descriptions for their planets. So let's go ahead and uh, see what everyone put. Oh my god, some of them were very big. Okay, so going to core first i'm just doing him in order of um when they posted so here is core's object so he has uh yeah they've got 89 bands okay and yeah that's all they uh, mentioned for it right and then on to siren's earth next so okay so this world nothing special about this also um he wishes everyone a happy christmas and a happy new year stay healthy during these times it's awesome stuff so yeah that was siren's earth there right and then on to the next one so this was um yeah error xd's one so where are we heading? Which one? So this was the gas, yeah, the, the gas dwarf here. Okay, so he says, right, planet HD two four one three one one nine B. Okay, so the numbers are translated to Xmas. Okay, so that's his Christmas um, gas here. This is cool. I like this um, idea. So yeah, that was his one. Yeah, yeah. Right, cool. So yeah, Christmas gas dwarf. Right, it was a world discovered in two thousand and forty six in Christmas Eve. The planet was visited by a probe seven hundred and fifty years later. Taking pictures of it and showing a dark red atmosphere with green clouds, which is what we see here. That's cool. And this is because the planet is a gas dwarf with a bromine chlorine atmosphere. Oh, right. Okay. Cool. Uh, making it a true Christmas planet. On its very crushed surface, there is a small amount of the yellow liquid. Uh, let's have a look. Did we see did we see the liquid underneath it? I think we may have. Uh, let's have a look. Oh, yeah. You can see yeah, the yellow patches. Okay. So there he is. Cool. Right. So let's put a little back on. It's a yellow liquid. So... 
Dibromine chloride, a high toxin into halogen. Okay, the liquid should have turned to gas, but thanks to the pressures above 3,500 ATM, its boiling point has been increased. The gas dwarf has some floating cities built above its clouds, although this was done 500 years after the probe first found it. Cool backstory. I like it. Really, really cool concept. That's cool. Very nice indeed there. Right, moving on. So the next one was, okay, so this was Tispole. Well, he changed his name, so stuck in 2D. So, okay, so let's, which one was his? His one was this one, wasn't it? Yeah. So moving on to his object here. Okay. So, right, so um, make sure the surface colors are enabled in the appearance tab. Wait, do we need to quickly do something? Appearance, surface colors, default or custom? And I believe that's how it's supposed to be. Surface colors are enabled. Okay. Enabled in the appearance tab. Yeah. So surface colors are cut on custom at the moment. Yeah. Okay. So that's how it should be then. Right. So yeah, here it says what. Okay. So this ice world is a super terror, 12 times the mass of Earth. It is discovered in a deep global ocean wall. Okay. So that's a... No, let me redo that. It is covered in a dark, deep global ocean of water that is kept in the liquid state by salts evolved in the surrounding rocks. It has an um, axle tilt of 70 degrees, which means the tropical and cold regions are flipped. Okay. So let's have a look at that, actually. So... Okay, so it is tilt. Ah, okay. So, yeah, there's the south and north. Okay. So, it's almost like a Uranus end. There you go. Okay. I didn't even notice that. That's cool. Right. So, yeah, there is that. Right. Um, so, yeah, obviously, it will have most... Uh, or when... Yeah, whenever it's sort of in the start, its weather will be very different. Like Uranus, for instance, because it's tilted from its side. Uh, so, yeah, uh, moist weather. When the equator experiences cold, dry weather, it has an atmosphere made up of nitrogen and oxygen with uh, trace amounts of noble gases and hydrocarbons. There is little to no CO2 in this world's atmosphere. Most of what you've seen on the planet is ice rather than snow, as the sparse clouds of water vapor are not sufficient to cover the whole planet in the stuff. On the night side, you can see the um, algae glowing a light cyan color. Okay, so that is... So this is algae. This isn't city lights. And okay, I like that. That's cool. Um, you can see the um, yola. Uh, some only... Or some of the only life to have survived such long stretches of dry, cold eras. Okay. Over time, the algae has depleted the atmosphere of its CO2, which means the main reason the planet is so cold. This is the main reason it was plunged into a permanent ice age. Okay, interesting backstory. It's quite a hard one to uh, get through, just reading it out in a video. But yeah, that is that is cool. Right, moving on. So Astronomy Geek, this was his well. Uh, which one? It was... Oh, I'm getting confused. There's so many wells. Right, so Astronomy Geek's one was... Oh, no, that was the no, it was the brown dwarf, wasn't it? No, I'm yeah, I'm getting mixed up. <laughs> There's so many objects. I right, see. So yeah, here is his Christmas brown dwarf. So he says this is where Santa gets the resources for the presents. So yeah, there it is. So the brown dwarf, very big world there. Plenty of stuff to uh, harvest. Right. Um, so then moving on. So Speedy, which was I believe was it was it this world here? This was Speedy's one. Yeah, Nusta, the Christmas planet with white oceans. So yeah, there we go. Looking good. It's all frozen up. Um, and then Tuppy, okay, so they didn't leave any description for theirs. Uh, Demunic was, uh, wait, which one was Demunic's? Um, it was, I think it was this one, wasn't it? Uh, Demunic's, uh, let's just quickly double check. Uh, yeah, Demunic was this one, yeah. So that was Christmas, right. So yeah, he said for this object, didn't go for a realistic look. I wanted to stand out for the main Christmas colours. Oh yes, definitely. That is definitely a standout. I mean, you can see straight away, I mean, that is very, very nice looking. So yeah green red white and a golden sort of color yeah you can see the golden sort of shades on it as well the clouds and stuff so um awesome stuff hope you like it i definitely like it but yeah that's um i'll be interested to see um the votes for this i have to say very awesome stuff so yeah there you go that's all the descriptions that the guys put so going over them again so we had um this was astronomy geeks christmas um, brown dwarf here then we had sirens earth the christmas themed earth with the beautiful green city lights and like the red areas on the surface then we had um, Cause Christmas Gas here with a nice, bright, vibrant red and green. Then, um, yeah, we had this one here. This was the Munix Christmas um, Rocky Planet. Then we had um, Era XD's Christmas Gas Dwarf there. That had a cool backstory to it. Then we had, this was Giga Man's one, I believe. Yeah, was this Giga's? Yeah. Giga Man, yeah. So that was Giga, yeah, Giga, Giga Man's one. So, yeah, very nice um, drop to hidden there with a the modern. Yeah, a lot. We had some good modded ones today as well. So, yeah, it was um, Giga Man's one. Then we had this world here. So, yeah, Nuster was Speedy. So, yeah, first competition for him. Then, then we had Stuck in 2Ds. One here. So, yeah, or Tispole, however you want to call him. So, yeah, there it is. Night, that one had a really interesting backstory. And then, yeah, lastly, we had um, the big gas giant at the very end. And this was Tuppy. So, yeah, welcome to the competitions for them as well as I believe it's his first um, also. So, yeah, there we go. That does it for our object competition day today, guys. So, yeah, Christmas themed. Very, very wide range of different objects. Every single one unique in their own way. Awesome stuff. I think this has got to be one of the best competitions we have done um, so far. So, yeah, this is episode 11 and, yeah, the Christmas uh, special. So, we'll be finding out the results after Christmas 
Oh, yeah, because Christmas is um, well, it's less than a week now. So, yeah, next week we'll, um, that would have all passed. So, we'll find out the results for this. Vera, I am very interested to see who's going to come out on top with this competition because I think this is going to be a hard one. We've got a lot of beautiful looking objects in here today. So, yeah, massive thank you to everyone for sending their objects in here. Very, very awesome competition. It was great looking through them all and reading the descriptions that you guys put. So, yeah, I really hope everyone watching has enjoyed this competition as well as, yeah, I certainly have. And yeah, if you did, let's see if we can go um, for 30 likes for today's competition video, guys. If you'd like to submit your own objects for future competitions, make sure to join my Discord server. Link in the description and you can upload your objects in the specified chat for it. Just looking at the planets from behind here and they look great. But yeah, make sure to join the Discord if you would like to do that. And yeah, also subscribe for more helps on the journey to 19,000 subscribers before the end of the year. As we're getting closer and closer by the day. So yeah, massive thank you to everyone who's recently subscribed. And everyone who comes back to every video um, every day as well. Massive thank you um, to all of you for that. It means the world. Really, really appreciate it. And yeah, guys, with that all said and done, a massive good luck to everyone um, who has submitted an object from the competition in the voting. And yeah, guys, I will see you in the next video. So make sure you all stay safe out there. Have a great day. And I'll see you yeah, in the next video. Goodbye.